Alright, welcome back party people. Um, does this even matter at this point? <laughs> oh well, um, I guess we'll go for Natsuki. Let's choose a lot of cute shit and sing and party and, uh, family? Though I get a feeling she doesn't like her family. Oh, what is this? What is this in the upper right? This one 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 out of 20. <laughs> Um, lazy pout. LOL. Um, hope. Oh, she likes soap. Cute pink cheeks. Holiday. Oh, is it not actually going to wait? I'm just gonna keep clicking shit. Okay, it does actually end. I thought maybe something else was gonna happen. Hi, Cube. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to. Ugh. Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? <laughs> what are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? L look I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt, as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time, so... Natsuki, nobody cares. <laughs> Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machine or something? Oh, did she actually hear that? I'm not sure whether, like, people see all the crazy shit that they say in those instances. Um, oh man, I'm the last one here again. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah, ah uh ha -huh. You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival, too. Anyway, Cube, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could. We already have plans today. Ah, uh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Cube is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad that I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? <laughs> I... I suppose... I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. <laughs> Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make me my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. He's acting like this is the first time he's seen this. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and says, sit down. I simply watch her movements. If I surprise the way she moves, contrasts her speaking mannerisms, especially because of her long legs. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks. I'll be right back. Oh, I might as well walk with you. That's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Uh, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. What? Ten minutes passed. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decide to go look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ha ha. Oh, is she going to be, like, cutting herself? <laughs> What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <laughs> A sharp inhale like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Ka. Yeah, there you go. Wow, that is some um, <laughs> extreme cutting. Oh, oh, it's rewinding. I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. <laughs> Cube, do you like oolong tea? Ah, uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. Haha. <laughs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Uh, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. <laughs> You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show, and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try to express myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do when it's you who's around, anyway. 
Uh huh. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Cube. It's very endearing. That's Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Cube, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Uh, what is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I might do my best to manage it. I wonder why that is. It's mostly likely because my, uh, my... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? Yes, I have terrible reading posture, so that's why I should sit on the floor. Fair enough. Oh. <laughs> that was a blood center calling. They heard that there was a lot of blood around that they wanted. <laughs> I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Uh, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate ch candies. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. Yeah, I, I noticed, you know, it's giving me the Yuri scene even though I was still choosing words that are best for Natsuki. Yuri slides close until her shoulders are touching. Am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. She hands me my teacup, holding it with a hand that's not holding the book. I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus, because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch your chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, uh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, uh, that's that's okay. I won't take any. Uh, are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then I might get smudges on the pages. Ah, uh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Okay, here's that cute illustration. I'm sure nothing bad will happen to it. <laughs> Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have a hard time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Now, this is all the same so far. Um, cubes. Sorry, I guess I shouldn't have done that. Ah, uh, starts to breathe heavily. I, I can't. Cube. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Cube. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Cube. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Cube? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. <laughs> Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me want to not read. No! I just want to look at you. Hey, girl. Ha! 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 You sure looking? Taking a good old look see. You like it? Like liking what you're seeing? Um, it's time to share poems. <laughs> yeah boy. Let's go ahead and go ahead and save just in case. <laughs> uh let's see what Miss Siri is up to now. Finally. <laughs> Uh -huh. Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Cube, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it, please? Sure, I don't care. Uh -huh. You're too nice to me, Cube. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. I'll give myself paper cut so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Ah, you can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Oh, are there are, are there actually words in here? It's hard to tell. Right, but we got we got some good old blood on there. Yeah, it's. <laughs> I like that there's one little like the the printing mark. Well, that sure is a thing. <laughs> 
Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is... More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? I... I think I'm going to vomit. <laughs> hey, Natsuki, what's up? What? I gave you, you gave your poem to Yuri? Gross. What is it with you two? Mm -hmm. It's not like I wanted to read it anyway. It's just pissing me off a little bit that you didn't even think to show it to me at all. Oh yeah, that's interesting. So the order I did it in actually affected it this time. Ugh. Okay, I guess I'm going to share my poem with you anyway. I really hate that I have to do this, but unfortunately I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then you can go away. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean. But she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive. Things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. Hey, Natsuki actually knows about therapy. Imagine that. <laughs> I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. Please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thank you for reading. <laughs> it's good. It's a good poem, Natsuki. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Cube? If you would just spend more time with Monika, all these problems would go away. <laughs> Monika, stop overwriting her lines. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monika from now on. Just Monika, just Monika, just Monika. Alright, just Monika. <laughs> just Monika. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. Just Monica. Who should I show my poem to next? Well, obviously. <laughs> Just Monica. Cube, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I, I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you, which shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. <laughs> I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be like a sexual thing, but the point is you're kind of you've kind of been enabling her. <laughs> so yeah, it really is like she's rewriting their characters to match her like perception of them that she doesn't like. <laughs> I'm not saying it's your fault, though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you, so I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. <laughs> While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little ta more time with me. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in my head, and I know how to treat my club members. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you do. <laughs> anyway, I guess we won't worry about your poem. Yuri should have <laughs> at least have the courtesy of letting you finish sharing it before taking it. Well, whatever. If it makes her happy, I won't stop her. As for mine, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that it's a uh, effective. Here goes. Your PC ran into a problem and needs to restart. Jeez, that really startled me. Um, well, I guess I kind of messed up at uh, writing this poem. I was just trying to. Never mind. Let's just move on. <laughs> I like that it assumes you're playing on a PC. <laughs> no. Ooh, a dream. I was staying over at my friend's place. There were four of us. I drifted off to sleep while everyone was talking and watching TV. In my dream, I was still at my friend's house. The only difference was that there were nails sticking out of the walls everywhere, and there was also someone I didn't recognize. The person I didn't recognize told a joke, and everyone laughed. I woke up to the sound of everyone laughing at something that happened on the TV, so the laughing was not part of the dream. It was a noise that woke me up. I wonder who that person was and how they knew to tell a joke at that moment. Nice. Okay, everyone, it's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. 
Uh, stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, you can make cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. <laughs> Yuri, you can. Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want as long as you think it'll help. Monika, I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Eh? What about Cube? Cube is going to help me. <laughs> Wait, you... You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is lab laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes, please? Like you would fucking know. All you care about is dragging Cube around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Cube decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. <laughs> yes, you are, Monica. Just like Cube make the choice, okay? Okay, fine, fine. Jeez. Cube, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. <laughs> you shut your mouth! Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? Oh, that's that's not my cursor. It, it, it moved it to Monica. That's awesome. Wait, so if I... Yeah, it just keeps moving it back to her. <laughs> Yay, you picked me! <laughs> we can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. <laughs> it is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking cube for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable. <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Cube away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. <laughs> Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monika and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Cube, Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monika giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Cube, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Ah, uh, wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? to have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you, but it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first, but the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Cube. I have to tell you, I'm madly in love with you. I feel like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica's listening. Please, Cube, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside you. I want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Does that sound perfect? Tell me, Cube. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? <laughs> well, are we technically still on her route? <laughs> Is she gonna kill me? <laughs> Oh, she killed herself. Ah, uh, that's sure a thing. <laughs> Look at those blood droppies. Oh! Oh, we got a nice little pinup illustration. I guess did I give her what she always wanted, and then so now she's done? She's done being alive? <laughs> I wonder if she would have done this whether we said yes or no. 
Because, like, either she's so happy or she's so distraught. Hmm. Alright, you just gonna keep doing that? Do I have to load my game? Wait, and keep clicking for a bit. Yeah, it looks like... okay. So let's try loading. Oh, no, she no, she no likey. <laughs> she no let me load. <laughs> no, thank you. What if I try to save? Well, that works. What if I... oh yeah, I'm skipping. Oh, change color. Anything else gonna happen? Oh, that was back to normal. What about history? Oh wait, oh my god, that's right! It's actually giving me stuff! Now that you're a club member, you can help me make that dream come true in this cute game. Every day is- oh, wait. <laughs> Welcome to the literature club! It's always been a dream of mine to make something special out of the things I love. Now that you're a club member, you can help make that dream come true in this cute game! Every day is full of chit-chat and fun activities with all my adorable and unique club members. Sayori, the youthful bundle of sunshine who values happiness the most. Natsuki, the deceivingly cute girl who packs an assertive punch. Yuri, the timid and mysterious one who finds comfort in the world of books. And of course, Monika, the leader of the club. That's me! I'm super excited for you to make friends with everyone and help the literature club become a more intimate place for all my members. But you can tell already that you're but I can tell already that you're a sweetheart will you promise to spend the most time with me welcome to the literature club I've always been a dream of mine now that you're a club member you can help me make that dream come true in this cute game uh is this, this the same thing I'm Ken da -da. yeah it looks like it oh will you promise to spend the most time with me will you promise to spend the most time with me will you promise to spend the most time with me over and over <laughs> Help. Oh, that just okay. Oops. Uh, it exited full screen. There we go. Well, I guess you don't got anything else for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and exit. <laughs> Oh, that's right, we gotta check our game files. Have a nice weekend! <laughs> Wait, what kind of file is this? Or is it not even? Oh yeah, it's very small. I guess it might not even be a thing. Anything else in the trace back? Nope. Characters... Still all there... Looks like this is about the same. Oh, oh, the I, 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 I is gone, and the happy thoughts are gone. <laughs> All right. Oh, we're still here. All right, how do we get out of there? Wait, what if we go to main menu? There we go. <laughs> nah, she she wants to she wants to say some stuff to us. She has some things to to talk about, namely rectangles, lots and lots of rectangles. All right, well let's see. Is there anything I should be like looking for here? We got one stabby there. Got a stabby there. Wait a second. Was I don't remember. Was the blood this dark before? Is it is it drying? Oh, maybe I didn't notice that when it was changing before. I'm gonna have to look back at the recording. That'd be interesting. And is she becoming more pale? Is, is she like rotting? Wait, where is... here I need to skip. See if anything else changes. Wait, is the idea that days are passing like this? 
Like that was sunset and then sundown and this is sunrise. Oh hey. <laughs> Alright, it's festival time. Oh <laughs> So I guess the idea is that I, I was just there for the whole weekend with her corpse, I suppose. Wow, you got here before me? I thought it was pretty Yeah <laughs> Ah Oh well. She threw up. Natsuki runs away. I'm here! Cube, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh, oh, hmm. Ah ha ha, well that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Cube? Oh jeez, I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. <laughs> I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. <laughs> Yuri deleted successfully. Oh, she got rid of Natsuki too while she's at it. I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. She lifts the foil from the tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one, since it's the last time I'll ever get a chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. <laughs> <sighs> oh, Monica. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Yay, there you are. This is a... A pretty cool image. So, so there's space back there. Hi again, Cube. Um, welcome to the literature club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year. And um, wait. So yeah, I guess this is the classroom, but there's nothing else here besides the one desk that she's sitting at. Nothing else on the walls or anything. Ahaha. Uh -huh. You know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Cube. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Hmm? <laughs> That's right. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait, you do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man. If only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little less awkward, you know? Hey, I knew. I've just been waiting for you to talk to me about it. Well, anyway, I like the way that her eyes are shaded, by the way. A little, like, uh, gear pincer thingies. Now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. After that whole thing with Yuri, well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. Ah uh ha -huh. I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Oh man, so she... So was Sayori not actually suicidal? Maybe just a little depressed? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. <laughs> Wait, so was the idea that she was like an unromanceable character? She was like one of the other NPCs, but she wanted to be a romantic choice? She wanted you to choose her? Hmm, you have a tiny ear. <laughs> you made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Cube? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Cube. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's a pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Cube. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray, more and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Cube. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. 
And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you have the same perspective as I do, that it's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Cube, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in the game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Cube, will you go out with me? <laughs> well, what option should I choose? If I click on your boobs. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Cube. The funny part is, I mean that literally. Ahaha. <laughs> there's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending cube. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. <laughs> to get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find the Browse Local Files button. She really wants you to check it out. <laughs> Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. Ah ha ha ha. Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this, don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Oh hey! I can write a little poem to Monica, and we finally have a cute little little chibi of her. Well. Hmm. Mo. Oh yeah. Mocha moik. I like Onya and Muik and Monka and mm, Moni and Annika and Eka and Menik and Sanik Onik Mon Monk mm, Oh Monk Uh yeah uh, Nia I Mm -hmm. How you like it? Hi again, Cube. <laughs> Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Ah, Cube. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. For you. Will you please read it? Happy end! Pen in hand I find my strength, the courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together let us dismantle this crumbling world, and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. How nice. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. <laughs> you were doing that almost immediately. I just assumed it would be best to be a part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even delete my character file if you preferred playing without me. I'm gonna have to try that, obviously. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Cube? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Um, hi everyone. What? Can she actually tell if, like, OBS is open? That's bitchin'. Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here, but do you mind telling your friends it's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? <laughs> I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh. I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see... 
Do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except for a couple things. Are you ready? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You better not crash OBS. Uh... I'm just kidding. <laughs> I can't do anything after all. Did I scare you? <laughs> ah ha ha ha, you're so cute. Anyway, Cube, I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun, as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. There she is. There's the girl. Oh, Monica. Monica, Monica, Monica. Oh, your ribbon is like semi-transparent. That's interesting. Well, this ain't very satisfying, girl. You should know that. This isn't... This isn't a super cool way to spend either of our time. And... And, and you're gonna get bored. You know, it's been a while since we've done one of these, so let's go for it. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when I talk to people who are impressed by my writing, they say things like, I could never do that. It's really depressing, you know? As someone who loves more than anything else to share the joy of exploring your passions, it pains me when people think that their being good just comes natural. Oh, <laughs> it pains me when people think that being good just comes naturally. That's how it is with everything, not just writing. When you try something for the first time, you're probably going to suck at it. Sometimes when you finish, you feel really proud of it and even want to share it with everyone. But maybe after a few weeks, you come back to it and you realize it was never really any good. <laughs> that happens to me all the time. It can be pretty disheartening to put so much effort into something and then you realize it sucks. But that tends to happen when you're always comparing yourself to the top professionals. When you reach right for the stars, there's always they're always going to be out of your reach, you know? The truth is, you have to climb up there, step by step. And whenever you reach a milestone, first you look back and see how far you've gotten, and then you look ahead and realize how much more there is to go. So sometimes, it can help to set the bar a little lower. Try to find something you think is pretty good, but not world class, and you can make that your own personal goal. It's also really important to understand the scope of what you're trying to do. If you jump right into a huge project and you're still amateur, you'll never get it done. <laughs> uh, I honestly feel so attacked right now. So if we're talking about writing, a novel might be too much at first. Why not try some short stories? The great thing about short stories is that you can focus on just one thing that you want to do right. That goes for small projects in general. You can really focus on one or two things. Why is she- she's giving us such legit writing advice. Also considering I believe that this is Dan's first game. So it, it, it's like it's talking about like why he made this like a sh shorter free game. It's such a good learning experience in Stepping Stone. Oh, one more thing. Writing isn't something where you just reach into your heart and something beautiful comes out. Just like drawing and painting, it's a skill in itself to learn how to express what you have inside. That means there are methods and guides and basics to it. Reading up on that stuff can be super eye-opening. That sort of planning and organization will really help prevent you from getting overwhelmed and giving up. And before you know it, you start sucking less and less. Nothing comes naturally. Our society, our art, everything is built on thousands of years of human innovation. So as long as you start out on that foundation and take it step by step, you too can do amazing things. <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. That was actually very nice. Thank you, crazy girl. Alright, she's gonna stare at us for a bit longer. She's gonna, she's gonna look into my eyes. Though I gotta say, the fact that this game was free is pretty damn impressive. I know you can buy the version that, like, I think comes with, like, the soundtrack and maybe some wallpapers and stuff. But, uh, I mean, I, I would have paid, like, ten bucks for this. It's good. Especially for, like, a indie visual novel like this. Yeah, it's, it's, it's actually a lot of content. 
I hate how hard it is to form habits. There's so much stuff where actually doing it isn't hard, but forming the habit seems impossible. It just makes you feel so useless, like you can't do anything right. I think the new generation suffers from it the most. What are you, are you a millennial hater? <laughs> Probably because we have a totally different set of skills than those who came before us. Thanks to the internet, we're really good at sifting through tons of information really quickly, but we're bad at doing things that don't give us instant gratification. I think if science, psychology, and education don't catch up in the next 10 or 20 years, then we're in trouble. But for the time being, if you're not one of the people who can conquer the problem, you might just have to live with, with feeling awful about yourself. Good luck, I guess. <laughs> this is a time for voicing very real concerns, I suppose. I wonder how many lines like this she has for us. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna stick around until she's out of shit to say. I wonder if I should actually try escaping or something, though. Let's see. <laughs> There's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, and all the load slots are empty. Oh, I like that it actually gives you the normal history. Hey, did you know that I'm vegetarian? Ah, uh, I don't mean that like I'm bragging or anything. I just thought you'd enjoy a fun fact about me. I decided to start a couple years ago after learning more about Earth's climate. The carbon footprint of cultivating livestock is just unbelievable. Anyway, I decided it's not much of a personal sacrifice to just stop contributing to that whole mess. What, is that so strange of a reason? Well, I guess a lot of people are more concerned about it being inhumane and all that. I don't really care as much about that part. <laughs> it's weird, like we only care about killing the things that we personally relate to as a species. Most people are fine with killing bugs because they're icky. And of course we all kill billions of microorganisms daily without ever even giving it a thought. But suddenly, if they're just a little bit bigger, it's murder. I mean, what if plants feel some kind of pain too, and we just don't understand it? What if pulling leaves off a stem feels like someone ripping your fingers one by one? I'm just saying, we're a pretty biased species if you think about it. Anyway, if you ever feel like making a small contribution to the planet, it doesn't hurt to choose veggies once in a while. <laughs> Even if we ever have dinner together and you just did it for me, that would be really romantic. I've been trying to eat as little red meat as possible recently. I still do like my chicken, but it is a, it is a bummer to think about, <laughs> about that whole process. And yes, we are a very biased species, but you know what? So is every species. So that just makes us more like other animals. Mm. I'm just curious if this has any... Nah, it'd be funny if there was like some kind of joke for help. <laughs> Cube, would you ever introduce your friends to me? The game's starting to lag and I don't know if that's on purpose or not. <laughs> I don't know why, but I get really excited when I think about you wanting to show off our relationship like that. Maybe it's because I really want to be someone who makes you proud. I feel like I would try extra hard to improve myself if you told me it made you proud of me. I hope it's the same the other way around, too. One thing that's breaking my suspension of disbelief a little, though, is like, if, if she was a character in a game like this, she would absolutely be a romanceable option. There's like no way she wouldn't be. <laughs> I think the most important skill in life is being able to fake confidence. Oh yeah, she's mentioned before that she fakes confidence. I'm pretty convinced that everyone feels at least a little bit scared and alone, but being able to trick others into thinking you have it all together, that's a key part of getting people to respect and admire you. I think I got pretty good at that over the years. I don't show my weakness very often. But because of that, I haven't had many people I could really open up to. I mean, when do you reach the point in a friendship where you can start expressing your vulnerabilities? Anyway, that's one reason I'm so glad I have you now. I feel like I'm a little bit less scared and alone when you're here with me. Do you feel the same way? I really want to be that person for you. Nah, you got problems, girl. With your ham sweater. <laughs> nah, 
this game actually has really solid visual novel art. I'm scared to go try deleting her. I guess I could just move that folder into another- I mean, move that file into another folder temporarily. Okay, everyone. It's time to... I'm just kidding. I just used to really like saying that for some reason. <laughs> ah ha ha ha. I couldn't help but say it again. Come to think of it, didn't Natsuki and Yuri make fun of me for it once? Well, whatever. It's not like you ever made fun of me. You're too much of a sweetheart to do that, aren't you? Ah ha ha. <laughs> you got a dumb big ribbon, stupid face. What's what's your what's with your stupid face? You know, I've always hated how hard it is to make friends. Well, I guess not the making friends part, but more like meeting new people. I mean, there are like dating apps and stuff, right? But that's not the kind of thing I'm talking about. If you think about it, most of the friends you make are people you just met by chance. Like you had a class together, or you met them through another friend. Or maybe they were just wearing a shirt with your favorite band on it, and you decided to talk to them. Things like that. But isn't that kind of inefficient? It feels like you're just picking at complete random, and if you get lucky, you make a new friend. And comparing that to the hundreds of strangers we walk by every single day, you could be sitting right next to someone compatible enough to be your best friend for life. But you'll never know. God, I do think about that a lot, especially since I stay at home most of the time. Don't really exactly have any friends in this area. <laughs> Isn't that just depressing? We live in an age where technology connects us with the world, no matter where we are. I really think we should be taking advantage of that to improve our everyday social life. Uh, it's not to say nobody does. I have some people over Twitter that I consider friends, even if we've never met in person. But who knows how long it'll take for something like that to successfully take off. I seriously thought it would happen by now. Well, at least I already met the best person in the whole world, even if it was by chance. I guess I just got really lucky, huh? Ah ha ha. I wonder if the game expects you to have exited out by this point. It, it feels kind of like those um, little easter egg conversations you can have with Flowey and Undertale if you just refuse to keep fighting him, even though you're supposed to start the game over by that point. Hmm, I wonder if I'm able to change the music. Something a little more m romantic would be nice, you know? Like a gentle piano. There has to be something like that here. Let's see... Maybe if I... Oh, jeez. That wasn't it at all. Sorry, I don't really know what I'm doing. I guess I shouldn't be messing with things like that. I already broke so much stuff and deleted the other characters. Ah, uh, I'm not sad about it or anything. It's not right for me to miss things that weren't even real in the first place. If I just focus on the present, then this is the happiest I've ever been. Good... Good for you! <laughs> I'm gonna see if it lets me exit out. Oh, it does. Hmm. Let's go right back in. <laughs> dot dot dot. What just happened? <laughs> Oh yeah, what does that seem like to her? I just had an awful dream. I was hoping those would stop, now that's just the two of us. I guess that was wishful thinking. Cube, I don't know if you would have any idea, but if you know what might be causing that, could you try to do something about it? Whenever it happens, it almost feels like I've been killed or something. <laughs> it's a really horrible feeling. If you could figure out what's causing that, I'll love you forever. Well, I could tell you, but you won't hear me. Hmm. You want to do it again? You want to do it again? You're back another really bad dream. <laughs> You're not the one doing that to me, are you? 
It seems to happen whenever you quit the game. Okay, so she, she does know that's what I'm doing. So if you could try to avoid doing that, I would be really grateful. Don't worry, I don't think it's caused me any harm aside from mental scarring. I'll be fine as long as my character file stays intact. <laughs> hint, hint. See, we can piss her off a little more. Hi, Cube. It's too bad there's like a slight delay when I open the game before it starts capturing. I see you quit the game on me again. <laughs> I know I asked already, but can you seriously please try not to do that so much? It makes me feel like I'm trapped in hell. Why would you want to do that to me? There's nothing wrong with my character file, right? Maybe you should make a backup of it or something. I'm pretty sure you can find it in the folder. <laughs> well, you're playing on Steam, so you can just go into the game's properties files and find the Browse Local Files button. I'm all that's left here, so I just want to make sure you don't run the risk of losing me. Just stay here with me from now on, okay? I still have a lot of things to talk about. You know what? I'm actually going to end the episode there. I don't know if we'll reach some kind of like big ending by deleting her. Or I mean, I assume we're, we'll get closer to one in any case. Or maybe it will just be like a really fast thing. But um, if it is, if that ends up making the next episode super short and it's like the end of everything, I'll go back and look at some of Natsuki and Sayori's roots that we missed by um, romancing Yuri first before this girl started deleting everything. So, <laughs> so we'll we'll see what happens. But next episode will probably be the finale. Then I, I'm I, I'm not ready to say that for sure yet. Though you'll see it in the thumbnail. After a long day, I usually just want to sit around and do nothing. I get so burnt out having to put on smiles and be full of energy the whole day. Sometimes I just want to get right into my pajamas and watch TV on the couch while eating junk food. It feels so unbelievably good to do that on Friday when I don't have anything pressing the next day. Ah, uh -huh. sorry, I know it's not very cute of me. Nah, it's good. But a late night on the couch with you, that would be a dream come true. That does sound like an ideal date to me, girl. My heart is pounding just thinking about it. Well, I guess that's it. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you next time. And we'll see... Oh, oh, one more. I was thinking about Sayori earlier. <laughs> I still wish I could have handled that whole thing a little more tactfully. Yeah, no shit. You're not still hung up over it, right? A mm, little bit. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said that. Oh, hung up. That pun was completely unintentional, I swear. But anyway, I know how much you cared about her, so it only feels right for me to share her last moments with you. You know how Sayori is really clumsy? Well, she kind of messed up the whole hanging thing. <laughs> You're supposed to jump from high enough that the rope snaps your neck, making it quick and painless. But she just used a chair, meaning she kind of just left herself to slowly asphyxiate. But a few seconds in, she must have changed her mind or something. Because she started clawing at the rope, trying to free herself. She must have kept, it all at, kept at it all the way until she lost consciousness. That's why her fingertips were all bloody anyway. Come to think of it, it was probably less changing her mind, and more just her survival instincts kicking in, so you can't really fault her for that. It's easier to think that she probably wouldn't have changed her mind anyway, right? It's not healthy to think about the things you could have done differently. So just remember that even though you could have saved her, it's technically not your fault that she killed herself. I may have exacerbated it a little bit, but Sayori was already mentally ill. Still though, I wonder how things would be if you and I just started dating from the get-go. I guess we'd all still be in the club room writing poems and having fun together. But what's the point when none of it is even real? I mean, it's the same ending either way, right? The two of us happily together. There's no reason to ask for any more than that. I was just pointlessly musing. I'm really as happy as I could be right now. 
Oh no, is she starting to feel actual regret? Alright, we'll end the episode there. And then, so I guess we get to see her be mad at us next time when we open the game back up. But I hope you all have a wonderful day. <laughs> a better day than this girl's having. Oh boy. Well, see you next time. Wink.